mid-July, the cream of the Ladies European Tour assembled just outside London in rural Buckinghamshire for the flagship event on tour, the three-day ISPS Hand at Ladies European Masters. The stunning Buckinghamshire Golf Club played host to a number of intriguing storylines with the event falling days before the Rico Women's British Open and just a fortnight ahead of the Solheim Cup. Young Englishwoman Charlie Hull was one player hoping to show Solheim Cup captain Lotta Neumann she was ready to make her debut after what has been a sensational season so far. She would have some stiff competition from a field that would include Australian world number seven Carrie Webb looking for a 55th title ahead of taking on St Andrews at the British Open a few days later. The Australian who won on the LET on home soil down under back in February explained why she was delighted to be given the opportunity to add the Buckinghamshire event to her schedule. You know, I asked to see if I could get an invite to play here at the ISPS uh, European Ladies Masters and they graciously uh, gave me one, so I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Um, it's, a, it's a change in my schedule, but it's, it's, a, it's a good one, you know, I think, um, you know, mixing it up a little bit, playing a course I haven't played before and, and one that'll be similar, similar to the British Open next week's good preparation. In near-perfect playing conditions, Australian Rebecca Artis was one of the early starters on day one on Friday and hit the ground running, producing a six-under round of 66 to fly up the leaderboard. It was Caroline Masson who played some of the best golf on day one, though. The German star, who finished second on last season's Order of Merit, produced a bogey-free nine-under round of 63. With Masson currently in fourth position on the Solheim Cup team standings, her run of form was timed to perfection. Masson's 63 was also matched by South African Ashley Simon, who joined the German at the top of the leaderboard in a share of the lead on nine under at the close of play. Ominously for the rest of the field, Australian star Carrie Webb began to turn on the style during the second round on Saturday. This approach at the 12th led to a birdie, one of eight during her round. She did drop three shots, but a round of five under left Webb in an excellent position. Clara Spilkover is one of the brightest talents on tour. Just 18, the bubbly Czech plays with the confidence of youth. This birdie putt didn't quite drop, but many more did for a round of 66 and a surprise share of the lead. Ashley Simon took the course apart during round one. The South African was unable to repeat the trick this time around, but still played some excellent golf. Three under for the day, she was 12 under overall. Caroline Masson joined Simon and Spilkover at the top of the leaderboard. She mirrored Simon's scores a 63 on the first day, followed by a 69 on day two. Masson, Simon and Spilkover in a share of the lead going into the final round then but their advantage was a slender one with Hull just two back and Webb just three off the pace. After some perfect English weather, the final round was played in much windier conditions. Not that they seemed to bother Clara Spilkover on the second. The Czech chipping in for birdie to move into the outright lead on 13 under. Carrie Webb dealt with the conditions better than anyone over the opening nine holes, however, and by the time she lined up this eagle putt, had already fired in four birdies onto 15 under and the leader by two. Ashley Simon was determined to stay as close to the leader as possible, though, and this birdie on nine meant she was just one shot adrift at the turn. Caroline Masson was another player just behind Webb on the leaderboard who was digging her heels in. This tee shot at the par three 12th helped her bag a much needed birdie that meant she too was now just one shot off the lead. But just as the youngsters were making ground, the experienced Webb struck yet another blow. Her second eagle of the round this time on the 14th, which put a two ahead of her closest challengers once more. Over on 18, meanwhile, a bogey on the last couldn't dampen the spirits of Lena Vidal after a round of 66 that had included seven birdies. Great to see the Dane back after recent injury. 
Germany's Sandra Gall was another who showed touches of brilliance during her final round. After a double on 13 that effectively ended her title hopes, she bounced back with this chip on 17. But a few moments later, Christina Kim provided the talking point of the final round. A fabulous hole-in-one to finish her tournament. The outgoing American made a lot of new friends during her stay in Buckinghamshire. After Carrie Webb surprisingly bogeyed 16 and Ashley Simon birdied 14, the South African found herself with a birdie putt to tie the lead on 17. To be, however, and she would have just one more chance to force a playoff. Like Simon, Caroline Masson was still fighting and had been handed a lifeline by that bogey from Webb on the 16th. If she could hold her birdie putt on 17, she too would be one behind with one to play. Over on 18, Webb was putting the finishing touches to her final round, a fabulous 65, played in the toughest conditions all week. Another par on the card. She was in the clubhouse on 16 under and simply had to wait to see if either Simon or Masson could take the tournament into extra holes. Masson could only find the sand with her tee shot at the par 3 18th and so was left with the sternest of tests. She had to hold from the bunker to force a playoff. Simon produced a better tee shot to find the putting surface but was faced with a very difficult birdie chance to keep her title dreams alive. A fabulous effort and some impressive fighting spirit over the closing holes but the celebrations could finally begin for Webb who'd been watching from a few feet away. A 55th career title for the Australian Carrie Webb then, the champion by a single stroke from Ashley Simon with Caroline Masson a shot further back in third. Charlie Hull couldn't quite find her top form during a final round but she should be pleased with another top 10 finish in front of the European Solheim Cup captain Lotte Neumann. You know, I came over here to, to get some, you know, tournament rounds under my belt before the British Open next week and, um, you know, try and get a little bit of confidence with my on-course play and, you know, obviously uh, it's turned out great. Um, I felt very comfortable out there, there this week and got more and more confidence as the week went on. It's Liam Pace, a recent winner in Spain, still at the top of the ISPS Hander Order of Merit, while Ashley Simon jumps into the top eight. Spaniard Beatrice Ricari tops page two. Rookie Holly Clyburn, who won in Holland earlier this year, is inside the top ten. Clara Spilkover's fine week in England helps her jump to inside the top 20. Caroline Masson's strong finish consolidates her position inside the top four of the Solheim Cup standings with just one qualifying tournament remaining for the showdown in Colorado. Charlie Hull is out in front at the top of the Rolex Rookie of the Year leaderboard. Carrie Webb jumps one place to six on the Rolex World Rankings after her victory at the Buckinghamshire. A perfect week then for Carrie Webb, her second Ladies European Tour title of the year after that victory in Australia in February. And what a way to prepare for the British Open that was due to begin just a few days after the dust had settled in Buckinghamshire.